we've got seeds lots of seeds figured I would show you guys all the extra seeds flowers plus vegetables that I have got in in fruit bulk <laughs> So we're going to start off with this one right here. This is a CR Gold cantaloupe. Um, cantaloupe, watermelon, squash, zucchini, all that stuff grows really good up here. And these are really good. Um, these are um, seeds to start inside. I have planted them direct and they have grown direct outside. So I may do half outside, half inside, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it has to be done too before and last, the last frost is over too. This one's pretty much um, This one is the Minnesota Midget, and now it's little. They are small. These are the bigger ones. See the shapes, the differences, and the colors. And, um, these are also starters on the inside for six to eight weeks and also before the last frost to get in the ground. So March is the best time to get these in. I know my mom's going to love getting some of these cantaloupes. And then I've got some nice regular peas. Now some of these I do have duplicates of different things that I'm growing because I wanted to have a good amount. Um, I'm going to start doing heirloom seeds. We got these. These are Lincoln Homesteaders. Great peas to grow. They get really big in seeds. Um, it did really great. It was nice to have these. And I planted these direct to the ground. Next up is some cow peas. We have these purple cow peas. These are great. To get growing and um, they are a open ground uh, so for the soil and I just stick these straight in and they do great and they, they are good for uh, making flowers out of as well okay this one I actually couldn't resist getting because I haven't ever tried yellow watermelon yeah Xavier saw these and he was excited. The petite yellow watermelon. I have never tried yellow watermelon. I've had pink watermelon. If you guys had any uh, yellow watermelon, um, let us know what you think about it. But we got these. We're going to sew them. Uh, for these, they're basically the same. You sew them four to five seeds over 12 inches tall to uh, feet across the hill. And... Um, when they're six inches, you thin to three per hill. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it produces oval watermelons with yellow flesh. I'm, I'm curious to see if those are sweet or than these types. Now these are Jubilees. And um, they're basically the same. And um, yeah, so it'll be nice to compare those. So we got those we watermelons got and the cantaloupes are all going in the outer field on the slope. We got, the we got um, the Casper pumpkin, which you um, direct sow. I can't wait to get those. We're excited and they're great for pies and breads. So those are going to go out on the outer field too. Um, we got uh, some big pumpkins. I thought it would be fun to have some big pumpkins. These are the first prize hybrid pumpkins. See how big we can get those. I'll probably do some selling of some pumpkins this year. Because um, these these get 80 to 300 pound pumpkins. Um, and they're great for display and competitions. So um, they're direct so of course I kind of can't wait to see how big those will grow. If you all want really big pumpkins, I would rather you go to get this one. Yeah. So we got the first prize hybrid and then we got the Ease Grow Monster. Look at that one. These are the 
first prize ones, these are the Ease Grow. Now, Ease Grow is um, golden zucchini. It's bright golden uh, zucchini and flavorful with white interior. Best if eaten when four to ten long. Pick often to encourage onset of more fruits. And um, you do six seeds of these. 9 to 12 inches tall and 1 foot across and you thin it to 3 after they germinate. But look how huge. Mm -mm. And like I said these are um, Eighty to three hundred. But look how huge those get. But I can't wait to to get just grow that. See how big they get. Have some for one thing for um, cutting up, but also for eating. I can't wait to eat. try these. So we got the Pumpkin Jack B. Littles and the Fall Pumpkin Blend. These are decorative pumpkins, teeny tiny pumpkins. Uh, these baby pumpkins fit in the palm of your hand, mini two to three, uh, grown mainly for fall decorations, but has an edible sweet uh, flavored flesh, so these can be eaten, 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 eaten <laughs> as well. Oh man, now my battery's trying to run out. I'm telling you, it doesn't want me to film for you guys. This is the third time going. Um, this right here is the uh, fall rainbow blend that's different colors. And this is a colorful blend, red, pink, white, blue, orange, and tan. Enjoy colorful displays. And it says it is a control weeds with mulch um, underneath them. So. You know, they, they can grow up underneath them and behind them because they're not broad leaves. No, I want to keep going before this dies. Hopefully we can get through all these. <laughs> Hopefully. So I got chives. I love chives. Um, I'm going to grow the chives and then I'm going to dehydrate the chives. And I will keep the chives in my containers in the house. They're great for flavor. These are the chive garlic, and I'll probably put them in the greenhouse so I can keep them separated from weeds. Um, they're just really good for your dishes and whatnot, and they are a start inside for six weeks before planting outdoors or uh, sow seed in the garden in a sunny location, but I'm probably going to put these in the greenhouse. I got two packets of those. I see. Thank you. You smell good. They smell amazing. Don't know. I don't feel these two are the same. No, these are not the same. Actually, that's a good comparison just to show you because Xavier, um, these are leeks. These are onions. Do not get leeks and onions um, mixed up. Leeks are good in salads. Onions are good in salads, but they're two different things. Um, the so these, no. These right here. Are bunchings and um, they're great for like your your uh, soup beans and stuff like that um, they're a mild onion and great for you know your your food and such and then these are leeks these are American flag leeks and um, these are a sweet member of the onion family and they have long stems and are tender and excellent flavor for soups and such so these are good for your salads and sandwiches and beans and such and these are good for uh, your soups and everything because they have a sweeter flavor to them because of them being a leek they're not as strong they're kind of mild and these have a mild onion flavor and these are a little bit less so they're two different things but they're in the same family and of course I've got myself some red burgundy um, Onions, red burgundy onions are my favorite uh, type of onion, actual whole onion to uh, grow because of their flavor and um, they store well and all you got to do is keep them dry 
and you just sow them six to eight weeks before the last frost of course they got to go in soon this is March so it's time to get going okay these almost don't even look like cucumbers these ones right here yeah so I got two different types of cucumbers these cucumbers were cool this is cucumber is white wonder and I've never had it before but I thought it was really cool and um, come on phone uh, it says even in heat it is yielding its yielding variety produces a cucumber that's crisp and good for pickles white skin stands out in the garden which will be cool and you sow it of course in the Sun these are lemon cucumbers I'm curious about their flavor and texture so I got those and these are uh, distinctive yellow flavor and shape and attractive lemon yellow when mature and they're the same you still direct so so I'm kind of excited about those something a little different to add in there comment down below if you like Okra or not? And also, do you want to tell them the story of what happened about you and the guy at the okra? <laughs> so this is okra, and and I, I love okra. I like okra. And we were at the Amish place, and um, they were growing the okra on the vine back there. And he is like, "You like okra? You can eat. You can eat okra raw. You can eat okra." Um, pickled you can eat okra fried boiled um, canned okra is very versatile and he was like you, you want to try some okra off the vine and he had it on the vine I was like no 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 I'm all for okra but guys the outside of an okra plant has like these little fuzzy pieces and then the inside of it has like a tiny bit of slime coating not a lot but when you fry it it kind of goes away but, um, no, I couldn't do that. <laughs> and, uh, this is open sow, of course, and they're good in stews and all of that. And they are very abundant. So I did get these. I think we got a Jeep coming in. Now, I got excited about the tomatoes. I don't know about you guys, but I love growing tomatoes. It's the one thing that anybody and everybody should be able to grow. If you want to grow something and you haven't, grow tomatoes. These are Cherokee purple tomatoes and um, they tell you to start seeds from the inside but I've always planted the seeds directly to the ground and they always come up with tomatoes every time. I also got these rainbow blend of tomatoes. They got tons of different ones. I got Sorry, I sneezed. Um, I got cherry tomatoes for our uh, salads and whatnot. I'm really excited about those. Please tell me that these are sweet. I got some sweet bell peppers. The regular red blend. Um, I also have some that I've been harvesting myself here at home um, to grow as well. I have a totally different section for those. <laughs> I found some sweet banana peppers. I can't wait to grow those. I am ready for growing those. The dog is in there going nuts. Um, they're said to start seeds on the inside. I may do a little bit in the greenhouse and outside of the greenhouse. Please. I don't know for sure they ain't sweet. <laughs> Why'd you get those? I got mild jalapenos. Because I want some mild jalapenos uh, for sauces and whatnot, and um, it says these pop these peppers are hot enough to feel the heat, but not hot enough to overpower the food. So when I saw those, I wanted to get those because I'm all for mild jalapenos. I hate the hot ones, but those will probably be perfect. I accidentally know. I accidentally did not know that those were peppers. Yes, these are pepper sweets. Um, they're pretty and sweet hybrids. And they grow up and they're just so cute sticking out of there. I mean, it's a cute view. And um, they are, these edible ornamental peppers are sweet to taste and delight to see. Enjoy your multitude of color peppers. 
um, you start them seeds inside as well uh, or you just sow them to a sunny location in your garden. I can't wait to grow these. I'm kind of excited about those. And I got Grand Bell Peppers, the mixed color, of course, different colors to do. And all of, all, most of the seeds I've got, most stuff is all, you know, so or so inside. These right here are the Orange Sun Bell Peppers. Um, and they're, they're very nice sweet papers to grow as well. I have a course of certain things that I, I got to. Um, I grew carrots one year and they done great. I had a problem with these little moles, these little ground moles and uh, taken off with my carrots. So this year I'm going to build a box above ground, nice and deep and high off the ground or plant them inside my greenhouse so that I can have me a nice variety of uh, carrots. These are atomic reds, cosmic purples, lunar white, solar yellows, black nebulas, and bambino oranges. Eight to ten inch roots, crisp and sweet. So I can't wait to get those. I think the acorn cream squash actually almost looks like the Casper pumpkins. Mm-hmm. This right here is um, the cream of the crop. I got excited about this. I love squashes. Squashes are great meat replacers. <laughs> um, they are two to three pound fruits. Can be picked small and used as a summer squash or let's wrap in as a winter squash. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited about those. Squashes are great for replacements. And, and <laughs> we got a buttercup squash, which are very sweet, yummy. You can put uh, brown sugar or sweet sugar in there, and, oh, my gosh, it's just so good. Great, great, great. I love these. I ate the crap out of them last time. I really think that all the squash it almost looks like a pumpkin. Like a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. This right here is a yellow summer crookneck, and these are great to cut up into uh, stews and all that. They're delicious and sweet and good firm uh, squash. I love these. Good lord, how many of those did you get? I got quite a bit. So, I bought um, some true lavender and I brought, or I bought some uh, Munstead lavender. And the lavender, I like growing it because it deters um, insects and it smells good. And I've got some down there that it's actually growing really good. I'm pretty proud of it. So, I bought. Um, a couple of packs of different ones to plant and sow down there and get into the ground and um, just to have. We got the true lavender in the Munstead. Yeah, Munstead. these Munstead. So their blooms are just a wee bit different and their scent throw is a wee bit different. This is why you can get different lavender scents and they're all different. Mm-hmm. We'll have to find it a nice little spot. I, I, I'm hoping that I can get either that or I'll get a bigger planter. That way it can sprout some more. But he's got a good sized cabbage going. And we've got cabbage to put in the garden as well. Cabbage is awesome to grow. It's got to have a lot of room all of its own and space. And um, I'm wanting to get some, some actual netting to put over them. Because last year we had a problem with stink bugs and they were chewing away at the leaves on everything it was so many stink bugs and i have a feeling this year it's not going to be any better because we've had a warm winter here and it's been wild <laughs> we've got two different kind of lettuce these are going in the greenhouse these are um gourmet blend lettuce and black seeded simon lettuce or well simon simpson lettuce um 
and I got the Paris Island romaine lettuce which is the long lettuce so I've got a variety of lettuces I think I got spinach in there too yeah right here yeah right here here's some spinach so I'm going to plant those inside my greenhouse because last time there was somebody that um chewed 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 off all the tops I'm not for sure which little creature decided decided to chew them all but it was they were doing so well and I went back out to go pick some for a salad and they were gone the next day <laughs> Okay, these are Swiss chards. These are the mixed color Swiss chards. Chards. Goodness, chards. And um, they are a vegetable and a flower all together. The multicolored stems brighten both vegetable and flower gardens with an attractive rainbow of colors and mild flavor harvest at any stage of development. These are like for me they're like a they're like vegetables and flowers because it's a beautiful colors that come up with these and if you plant them by yourself in a little planter you're going to have all these beautiful colors sticking straight about the ground and it's just going to look beautiful and then you pick them and you can eat them and uh, the swiss chards um, are delicious and we have wild ones that come up too as well and then I got just regular Swiss chards. These are the large dark green ones. And um, they're not as pretty. So if you see, these are cute and flowery looking and pretty and bright. These are just plain. So these are cute for flower gardens. And this is just for, you know, in the house. And um, it's mild like spinach with sun's heat and greens and have a broad thicker midrib and used for fresh or cooked like spinach it's the same for the other ones i don't like brussels sprouts cheese or pickle yep do you like cream cheese correctly? yep <laughs> i do so we got us uh, some brussels sprouts to point out there and um these are a start from seed after the frost um when they are a few inches tall you thin them out and they're cabbage like um they're not exactly like cabbage but they have a little bit of a bitter wang to them but they're still really good whenever i saw my mom put these in the buggy i thought they were looking so cold mm. there. so i'm doing a chinese themed kind of garden down there it takes a little bit for them to bloom the little lantern things these are thin paper like and um, they're cute and um, you cut for drying as soon as they've turned full colors uh, red paper husks which enclose the berries cut for drying as soon as they have turned full color and um, you sow in the ground open and you start the seeds eight to six weeks before frost so these will need to go in the ground soon too I'm not for sure about the berry part. I need to look up what the berries are. Um, I'm not for sure if they're edible. I don't know that yet. I, I haven't. Um, I would eat them. I don't think they are. I think maybe you harvest the berries to re So I don't know. I have to look them up. Um, it says thin, thin when the plants are a few inches tall, transplant to garden after frost, harden off before transplanting. So, yeah, I really need to do a little bit of research on the berry part about the cut for drying as soon as they've turned fall color. So, I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure if they're saying just cut them down to the ground to let them dry out. I'm not sure if they're saying harvest the berries so and let them dry out so that you can replant them the next year. I'm not sure if you're, it doesn't really state. So much research on these. I just mainly got these because of the little lanterns and I want to plant them down there because of my theme. Okay, we got something that's mixed and it blooms every year. <laughs> 
Yes, I got these also to go with the theme. So we have the lanterns and you've got the cactus. These things are probably going to be close together somewhere or another. But I really got excited about the variety of cactuses. So those are going to go down the ground. And I'm going to get um, a nice little area going for those. Um, it tells what kind is mixed up in there. And... Um, it requires a little moisture, which will be great for the bottom yard down there. And they're slow to germinate and grow, so we have to have patience, apparently. Can so we'll you, see how that goes. Can you not be able to eat cactus? Pick up no. There's some cactuses small. people can eat, but... Okay. Look at this. This doesn't even look like seeds. <laughs> <laughs> this has a so easy coating on it. And these are Love Lies Bleeding. And these are actually weeds. Um, they kind of remind me of the pokeberry stalks. If you look at the stalks, it reminds me of pokeberries. Willow, cut it out. Must be thundering. She's going nuts again. Um, but yeah, so these are really pretty though when they bloom. So I'm excited about those. And um, it's got why they've got the coating on there and um, all that. And of course, we've got to wait after the danger of frost. So some things are before and some are after. And, um, yeah, I can't wait. So, let's see. Yeah. They're just cute. Okay, I forgot about those. <laughs> These are tomatillos, and they're purple. And they have the little pieces that fall over them. I have not never had these ones, but they are a tart flavor. Sweet and tart. Um, rich purple for grill or diced salads and um, it says they are a fruit on this package which is kind of interesting because the other tomatoes didn't say that they were fruits but they want to call these fruits so <laughs> you all think that a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable what's your opinion okay the rest of these are pretty much like only flowers so this is an herb. This is cilantro. Yeah, <laughs> so cilantro, we're going to cut it up and all that. I'll probably um, keep it inside. No, that's, that's, a, that's an herb that's for putting on your salads and foods and soups. Now this is a cardinal climber vine. This is a flower. I can't wait to get this in the ground and planted. They are awesome. And you just plant those after frost, of course. We're almost to the end. <laughs> and we have painted daisies. I can't wait to get those in the ground. Oh, look how pretty. Rosemary. I'm sorry, I'm going through this so fast. Rosemary. Okay, now that's another herb. This is rosemary. I want to have it planted in planters, of course, so that I can get to it easily to use. And organic. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but there is organic on there on some of these. Okay, these almost look like lavender for a minute. I thought they were lavender. Nope. These are Sylvia uh, Blue Better Sage. Um, now, Blue Better Sage. It is a great blooming, but it is um, long, sl long, slender flower spikes, and um, this right here is great for keeping bees and stuff like that away. The smells of these and lavender work great. And then these right here are just such cute, pretty flowers. 
I thought that they were adorable. Purple is my color. I love purple. This will go with the purple lavender, and it'll help the red la uh, the lantern stick out, and all the other colors pop down there. I can't wait to get those in. And then we have these Imperials, and they are just beautiful flowers. I think I might have showed you some in the other seed video, but I got some more of these to plant and get down in the ground. And, um, of course, they're after, after frost. A lot of things are after frost. Hopefully these give me some sunflower seeds. <laughs> I like sunflower seeds. So we got sunflower seeds. These are the skyscraper ones. These are the ones that get tall. And these are the ones that, um, I do believe will get a good seed. Um, yeah, a jumbo size treat. Heat and drought tolerant. So if it dries up outside it ain't going to bother it and we sew after frost and this one is the red sun sunflowers which I can't wait to plant those they're so cute and pretty and they're the small and um, they're easy to grow they get four to six in height hmm. does that only take 15 days to grow oh nope that says 75 the ramp of that says 15 and we've got ourselves a hollyhock, and the hollyhock is um, the summer car carnival rosy red. They are just so cute, and they'll grow in these nice tall stalks. Um, a lot of these will be great for attracting butterflies and honeybees and all that good stuff. Yep, that's a different type. This one is another <laughs> emerald, and it's a nice stock plant. I thought the stock plants would be great, too, for keeping, um, helping to protect some of the stuff and uh, add in a little bit of height around areas where I need it. And these are going to attract butterfly flowers. These are going to attract some butterflies. They're nice little flowers, and I kind of figure... I'll just lure in some butterflies down there. That would be nice to see some fly butterflies flying around. And um, has foliage and all that. And um, pointed seed pods so that I can get more out of these and replant them and they'll come up. So I can't wait. We Thunder. That's the reason why Willow's taking a fit. I got some um, dark opal purple basil. Um, the basil smells amazing. I've grown this once before. And um, this right here is a distinctive deep purple foliage. Wonderful fragrance. Lovely flower garden. Uh, used in flavored vinegars garnished on salad. So this right here is going to be... Um, Half is going to be outside and half of it um, I'm going to plant inside my um, greenhouse so that I make sure that I have it if something chews up the ones outside. There was actually one year that we went to a place um, and there was butterflies absolutely everywhere. There was bees in the surrounding one flower mm -hmm. spot and there was one that had a lot of you can look up that video and see all of that on um, the butterfly garden video. This is the bachelor buttons and they are mixed, multiple colors. It's thundering outside. She's like she's freaking out. Willow! Cut it out! It's like it's, if, if it is it's thunder she goes nutty. Nutty. Every time. I'm gonna have to get the thunder vest. Um, these are, you know, so before. Um, I think it's no, so in open ground with well exposed soil, but they also so before, before it starts frosting. I do believe I had to sell them before before the last frost, I think, for the last ones that I done to grow, but I'll do it afterwards. And some of these flowers are going to go inside as well. They will be going in. So yeah, I mean, this is... We got one more? We got one more? What do we got? That's not 
not, that's not a seed. So this is, this is the rest of my seed collection along with my other seeds. And, um, 